Linda from Kenora Rainy River. My question is to the Minister of Natural Resources. Families in northwestern Ontario want jobs, and they've looked to this government to help bring those jobs. One of the few times of optimism was in 2009, when this government announced the creation of 100 jobs at the Aspenware plant in Dryden. Last week, I received an invitation to the grand opening of this new Aspenware Generation 2 plant in Vernon, B.C., Will the government explain to this house and the people of Dryden why those promised jobs are in another province? Wow. Minister? Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I appreciate the question. And I think as a member would also know that if she was speaking to the uh, Aspenware people, that they are in, indeed in conversations with, uh, with our government and with our ministry about future opportunities. And she will also know that the decision was made very specifically to uh, make sure that the operation was commercially viable uh, before they, they continue their discussions with us. The fact is, uh, Mr. Speaker, we have so many uh, uh, pieces of actually very positive news related to the, the forestry sector in terms of the incentives that, uh, that our government has provided to uh, a number of industries, certainly when one looks at the opportunities that are happening at Resolute Forest Products, in terms of the commitments they've made to expand their operation in Thunder Bay, to expand the sawmill, the work that they're doing in Iroquois Falls and other places as well, the fact that our government continues to support them in terms of a, 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 a northern electricity rebate plan. The fact is, we are excited about those opportunities, those discussions continue, and I look forward to them happening in the future. Supplementary. Minister, Dryden has been hit hard with the loss of 800 forestry jobs since 2004. The city of Dryden has invested millions of dollars in building an industrial park to house this Aspenware facility because they took this government at its word. The industrial park is done, but the primary tenant is setting up shop in Vernon, British Columbia, because this government could not deliver on loan guarantees and wood supply. We know this government is supporting jobs in Tennessee, but what is it doing for the people who actually reside in Ontario? Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I, I think the, uh, the member is being disingenuous. Uh, if she has had, no, well, if she, ha if she has had conversations with the Aspenware people, she will, she will understand that indeed we are in discussions with Aspenware and have been for some time. And indeed, may I say, when one looks at the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund and the amount of uh, support that has gone, including, may I say, to the industrial park that you referenced in Dryden, she also, the member also knows we were together, in fact, when there was a very significant announcement made be, uh, related to uh, the Center for Research Innovation, the bioeconomy between Domtar and a major U.S. research firm in terms of finding new value-added opportunities for the forestry sector. So the opportunities are there. We're continuing to look towards the future. We're in discussions. Continue.